Monday night? Can that propel a team? Can that build confidence and momentum going forward? Uh, for sure, because I think it was just a, it was a really good win and a really good like Titans type of win. That gritty fighting all the way to the fourth quarter and finding a way to win. Um, but yeah, I think you could definitely build confidence off of that. How do you feel like you're, you've evolved throughout the season and kind of just getting back to playing your best ball? Uh, really just ignoring the noise and just focusing on improving each week, looking at the things I've done well and things that I need to improve on and just going out on the practice field, being able to practice um, and just working on my stuff uh, every week. Was there a moment when you kind of felt like, I'm back now, I can do everything I want to do and I'm not thinking about it anymore? Yeah, I mean, I feel like that was a while ago. I just felt like, you know, with each rep this season and being able to practice has really, you know, just helped me come along. We see you and, and Art and Nico doing special teams. You know, you guys are working with Lil Lopez. Uh, what's it like working with her? And, and how much has she helped you this season? Yeah, nah. Um, I think she's done a great job, you know, with giving us, you know, all the game plan and stuff like that. And, you know, giving what her thoughts on, um, you know, certain players with who we're going up against. Um, week in and week out. Um, and like you said, those special teams period are critical for guys like me, Nico and AK. Um, Cause it's, you know, Indy is really about, you know, our position group working as a whole, but then those special teams is a period where, you know, we can really hone in on, you know, the individual things that we're trying to work on leading up to a game. So those periods are always uh, critical for us. What's the challenge, I guess, for you to come out so the most to win just a couple of nights ago, now turn around and, and prepare for another game tonight? Uh, I mean, it's kind of, I wouldn't say it's that hard to do because you know that, you know, we got the Texans, a divisional game, and this is a, a very important game, which it always is. And we always know that it's a dog fight whenever we play them. So it's not really that hard, I feel like, to turn the page and to start focusing on them. Knowing that you're going to be wearing uh, I mean, it's just the process, you know, that you got to go through. Uh, I'm not happy about it, but just live and you learn and, you know, just hope to see what's to come next. Christian, you were so confident in the summer that mm -hmm. everything you've done this offseason and in your training had put you in a place that it would be different this year. Yeah. Is it extra frustrating because it didn't turn out the way you expected? Yeah, I'm sweating. Uh, I mean, yeah, it is because, like I said, I feel like I have done everything, you know, to stay on the field. And it didn't happen, so I don't know. Go figure, I guess. Where, where do you go from here? I mean, I know obviously the first yeah. step is to get healthy, but yeah. the contract is up in March. And yeah. Uh, you got to let it play out, you know. There's still a lot of season left. Um, I know we went out, you know, we still got a chance, you know, playoffs or whatever. So that's just the main goal. You know, I'm going to do what I can, you know, to help the guys around while I'm still uh, around in the locker room or in the film room. Um, but, yeah, you got to see where it goes from the end of the season, from, from now to the end of the season. What point did you feel like this might be season ending might linger? Did you kind of feel like you'd be able to come back or what what uh, on iron this time? Uh, I don't I don't know. I just found out myself. So um I mean like I said I was gonna try to get back for the team. Um, I know we had five games left, so just I was gonna do what I can did to help. Did it surprise you that you were put on IR or did they kinda of tell you? Uh, I mean, y'all could talk to Brave about it, but how that went down, so I don't, I don't know. I just found out, like I said. I know it's frustrating for you. Anybody yeah. who you know has been here has dealt with injuries. Mm -hmm. What do you turn to, just in terms of keeping that hope and positive attitude, whether it's playing here next year or somewhere yeah. else where you can continue your career? Uh, I mean, the thing is, for me, I know injuries happen, you know, and um, like I said, I, I went to through all the precautions, you know, I changed diet, everything, you know, that I could to stay healthy and it didn't work out. So, like I said, I know I did my part at the end of the day. Um, I went the extra mile uh, for my team and it didn't work out. So I can't be mad at that, you know, I'm still I'm glad I'm alive, you know, I'm blessed to be in this position and, you know, you got to see where it goes. Has it been however many games and like the probability was like what one percent or something like that? So, you know, um, it, it was pretty surreal. And like I said, the playing right back was lots of fun. Um, but we're on to the next now. So. The idea that this team hasn't won back to back games, I think it's been 13 months at this point. How okay. important is it that you build off of what you did Monday night and yeah. start to string some wins together? Yeah, no question. I think momentum is huge. You know what I mean? And, and start to build, like you said, build. Um, you know, build wins and then gain confidence along the way and finish the season strong. Was there anything that they gained? But, um, I think, you know, we kind of took away most of their explosives. I think they still hit three, three passes and a couple runs, but, um, you know, ended in a W.
when it comes to Houston, not really knowing exactly who you're going to see quarterback. Right. How do you all balance that preparing for Davis and possibly the Right. I mean, I think, you know, just watch both of them. You know, they, they both have played and started in this league. Uh, for a while now, you know what I mean, with with Sears Stroud having the year he's having, and then uh, Mills playing all last year and the year before. So, um, you know, I think at the end of the day, our objective is the same: is to affect the quarterback, uh, try to get out through the ball, even though they're they're taking good care of it. So, you know, our job is the same, and, and who we face kind of later in the week. Maybe we know more, maybe we don't. Um, we'll see how things shake out.